Hey there, this is K4A Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. In this video today we are going to learn how to add project from disk to your Unity Hub and uh, what actually that means, uh, when it will happen and so on. So in uh, previous videos on my YouTube channel I was talking about Unity, some basic uh, stuff and uh, started to make more Unity videos. I hope I will continue with that in future and uh, um, I have created a couple of projects uh, during those videos. Uh, one was for example uh, this one, uh, uh, the video is uh, also about how to create a new Unity project and the project was about um, serving me to import uh, some um, Unity assets free or uh, premium one and to test them. So one Unity project I created was for testing Unity assets from Unity Asset Store. Other one was for example for um, um, watching Unity uh, tutorial on uh, Essential uh, Pathway. So I have created one uh, Unity project for Unity Essential Pathway tutorial and so on. So a couple of those, I think I had uh, three projects. And um, I have created them with this new project, uh, named them, opened them and so on, imported assets and they were all here in Unity Hub. But now I cannot see them and uh, they have disappeared and the whole idea is uh, here is uh, why that happened and uh, when it will happen and how to solve that problem. So the problem which I created, not the Unity, was that um, I have created one folder uh, called Unity on my uh, D disk, uh, my D hard uh, drive and uh, in that uh, Unity folder I had another uh, folder which was called uh, Projects. So I have created and saved all those Unity projects into that folder. Unity, then projects, then save that. And that was all cool. Unity remembered the location of that folder and um, he opened the files from that location and he showed them here from that location. But because I uh, after that, I wanted to better organize my hard disk in terms of uh, folders, uh, management organizations. I have uh, so many stuff here, like for example, I have created one folder for graphics and I called it uh, GFX and in it I have created a folder for sculptures, normal sculpt and so on. I have created another folder for game development, I have called it GD, and in it I have created one folder for Game, game Maker, another for Godot, GDevelop, Scratch, Unreal, Unity and so on, because I, uh, I play in those game engines too, I want to explore them, I am interested in those too, so I just wanted uh, them to be all in one place and uh, better organized that way, but uh, while I was moving my Unity folder in it, uh, I have created problem that because a folder Unity was here on my D disk and I have just clicked on it like this and dragged it into another folder GD uh, which uh, helped me but confused the Unity uh, and uh, now Unity doesn't see those projects, they have disappeared and that will happen from time to time again uh, when you create changes uh, on your side, on uh, yourself. Uh, Unity itself, if you don't change the location of projects, uh, it's not uh, going to uh, become uh, confused or, or uh, uh, lose the location of the your projects. It, sh it shouldn't be like that. But again, uh, sometimes uh, when you change the location of the projects, and again, it's just the projects, not the installation of Unity. Uh, Unity is installed on in other folder. I don't touch those, and you shouldn't touch those too. But uh, projects, I, as you can see, I have moved them here, and uh, I have also renamed the 
projects uh, folder it was with capital P now it's with a uh, small P as a starting letter so here it is my projects folder and here are my projects here so they exist I haven't delete, deleted them I have just changed the location so I want to show the unity now where to find them so click on the add then add project from disk then uh, try to find your location uh, you should know where you have changed the location of projects files where where you have moved them in my case it's d hard disk gd as game development then unity then projects and i think this will be enough let me try open uh, this project is not valid okay so i have to yeah it makes sense i have to click on one of those uh, specific let's try with um, test assets i think that's the smallest one yeah so now we will try to open it how long this is six minutes okay uh, it starts and I think it will work fast enough um, the projects themselves are too big from the start if you ask me and I will make another video next one maybe about it uh, I was talking about that long time ago a few times when I was uh, using Game Maker I think and maybe even some different game engine and that's one of the uh, things I don't like uh, about Unity Unreal and although it makes sense that those uh, files are big but yeah you, you just cannot uh, make them smaller from start and then add later somehow it has to start massive at least from my point of view we will see the details in next video anyway if I think this works so uh, you have to go to add pro uh, button add project from disk and then click on which project specific project you want to add um, I have moved three of those so I will have to repeat this process three times okay this is slow so maybe I will stop the video uh, here uh, maybe wait, wait just for a minute or two uh, uh, anyway this isn't a smart thing to do uh, uh, to change the location of your project just by uh, click and drag or cut and paste and stuff like that it's not recommended so before you uh, start creating something in unity and start creating projects uh, try to think about okay I will locate them here in this folder and I will not move that uh, never ever it uh, should be like that I um, unfortunately I had to deinstall install some uh, software to create new folders to move folders and stuff like that uh, but uh, the problem uh, the problems you're making are on your uh, self then not on a uh, unity on s or software itself uh, you are creating the problem because you're moving the stuff around and you have to notify unity hub about it so in this case I have a test assets yeah uh, this is uh, the one which we use to open the assets cool so another one would be add project from disk uh, test assets we have added that one let's add my project okay here it is I'm not going to click on it because if I clicked on it it would open it and add one more uh, locate it here on select a project to open in my case it's a free food asset pack uh, and click open and I have them here again so uh, again I'm not sure how often you're going to use this button here 
probably never ever or very very rare but anyway you know how now you know how to do it and also there is add from repository option which is uh, i guess the same thing only you uh, here uh, when you click on it you probably point to some repository like github or something like that uh, that's it for this video 10 minutes uh, see you in the uh, next one thanks for watching and Bye for now.